What up everybody, Pete the Hybrid Guy here, and we're going to go through today on this little venture on how to install a USB port into our center console on our 2000, um, sorry, well, 2004 to 2009 second gen Toyota Prius. So I'm going to walk you through the tools that are needed, um, how this all works out, and what you can do if you have the auxiliary function. Um, because this is a concern, uh, and we're also going to talk about that in a later episode. This should be uh, a three-part series um, in different things that I'm going to do. We're going to do the USB port install, then we're going to do the Bluetooth adapter install utilizing this auxil uh, the aux port. I can never say that. And then we're going to do a final series on heated seats. So it's going to be really cool, so make sure you hit subscribe and uh, let's dive in here really quick. So here is our center console. Uh, you will need to remove this. I took it out already and I don't want to show you how to do that, but I'll show you what you need to do in order to pull it out. On each side, there are two screws right here and there's a center piece right here that you can see that I have removed, which will slide right up and out. And you can access two screws here. And then there's also right there, those two are 10 millimeter bolts, which is why we have this uh, ratchet with the 10 mil on there. And then there's these two connectors back there, which hook all the, the power up here. Okay, so you're like, so what we can see right now is the bottom side of the center console. So where is this uh, power port and everything? Well, it is, and make sure you clean that too, because these are always dirty. And this, this Prius that I bought was really clean. Let me open this up for us. So in here, normally right down here is where the auxiliary port would go. Okay, this little guy would fit right in there. And then it has its own little wire harness. And then you can see that this is a power port right here that you can plug in an adapter to. And you're welcome to do that. This is just a mod that I like that um, makes it so no one steals my, my little piece that goes in there. And then it gives me another option to use uh, even more power ports um, if I need to. So the great thing about what we're installing today is it's very low uh, current. So we don't need a huge um, inline fuse or anything like that to really protect it because it's going to be protected off of the circuit that we're tapping into today. So when you get one of these, now I've modified this one, but when you get one of these power ports, it comes with uh sorry it comes with its harness here and then it comes with this extra long nasty harness well if you look up once you slide that out if you look up here okay you'll see there's not a ton of space in there and our connection right is pretty much loops right over to this power port here and so we don't have a ton of room in here well i don't want to stuff a bunch of extra wire in there so i was sitting here debating all right, well, how can I help everybody get the best bang for their buck? And that's when I came up with this harness design. Okay, so this harness design, and I'd be happy to make you one if you really want me to. Um, in fact, I'd make this whole setup for you where it's plug and play. If you just want to, you know, something that's easy and you don't want to fiddle with it, uh, feel free to let me know. But what I did, it's super simple, is I cut out a bunch and I used excess wire on this harness. And I got, I got the right spade connectors and um, the male and female spade connectors there that fit here, right, on this terminal. And then these ones will connect into here. Sorry. Okay, they're going to connect in there. And then these ones right here will connect onto our other power port right up here. Okay. That way what we do is we have power coming in. We can go over, we can power our socket and then we can actually power this USB too. So it's all on the factory circuit. It's already fuse protected. So if we have an overload issue, it's fuse protected already. I just got rid of a bunch of the wiring that I didn't need in there. So it's a nice, clean, simple setup. Okay, this is my first rendition of it. So, um, you know, I, I'll probably modify it a little bit as time goes on, probably put some shrink on it. And again, you know, if you want to get one, if you if you want me to build you one, I would be happy to do so. 
um, just let me know. So, things that you will need to do this job, okay? You will need a socket with a 10 millimeter. I have a really long extension on here. You probably don't need something that long. I just like ease of, of access, so that's what I did. You will need a Phillips head screwdriver. You will need some wire wire cutters and strippers, okay? Um, I don't have my heat gun in here. I forgot it, but you do need a heat gun. You need male and female spade connectors. And then, of course, if you have the aux port, you're going to need to move this out of the way um, in order to install this. So let me set my camera up here, and I'll show you how easy the install is of our little deal. So I'm, I'm going to take this, feed it in through the top, and then hook it all up right here. It clips in nice and tight right there. Make sure you've seen it. Clips in nice and tight right there. And now we just have the harness that we need to connect up to our power source and into our main line. Just as simple as this and that. And as simple as this simple as that so I kind of have a little bit of excess wire what's great about this area in here um, is you can tuck you can tuck that back up in there nice and easy and it stays right out of the way of your of your little hidden cubby there if you didn't know you had that hidden cubby and then you have your your aux port here what we end up doing and you'll see this in our next video is we're going to route this actually to come out and be up here okay um, so i'm going to let that hang out for right now and i'm going to move it uh, when i go to install this but as i do the next video you'll see where i have it placed uh, strategically up here and running the wire so um, look for that in a later episode so that's really it everybody and um, this is hooked up i can go hook it back in the car hook up my power back here bolt this down and uh, I'm going to have power to my USB, uh, my new USB uh, deal here, and my power socket. If you have any questions or if you just want to know something about how this is done, or if you just want me to build you one, I'm happy to do that. But I really appreciate uh, your support. Um, I do have uh, links in the description for, uh, where you can get these on Amazon. Um, also, if you need any of the connectors or anything like that, I'll put that in the description. Uh, it's really straightforward. If you don't have a heat gun, you can use a hair dryer um, on on the hot setting. And it, I got these uh, these connections are they have a little glue in them, so when they when they clamp down, uh, they glue and they really make a nice seal on there as well. So if you have any questions, guys, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, leave me a comment below, or you can also reach out to me on Twitter at the Hybrid Guy. Um, more than happy to answer questions that you have uh, with this USB install. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next episode.